Hey everyone, what's up? This is Ram here, back with another series of videos and tutorials and from now to onwards we are going to learn cascading style sheets. And what is cascading style sheet? It's a style language used to describe the presentation of a document written in HTML. Whatever we have learned in HTML in our previous videos or in our previous lessons, we are going to use the same knowledge or the same elements into our style sheet. We are going to give them some style, some design, a beautiful way of presenting the markup. Okay. CSS is one of the main languages of the open web and is standardized on web browsers according to the W3C specifications. Right now we are using CSS3 and I will try to uh, go with the CS3. Um, it's a modern, um, modern, I cannot say it's a modern technology, but it's a modern version. Okay, the latest version of CSS is CSS3. So let's start it, let's dive into it, and let's learn that how the CSS, what, the, what is the syntax of the CSS. The syntax of the CSS is like, um, let me write here, then I'm going to explain it to you, okay? font size is 2 pixels right now so here let me zoom it and this is this h1 this is a selector okay and the statement between this within these curly braces is known as declaration so we are declaring this color this uh, the color should be the yellow of this h1 and the font size of this h1 should be 2 pixels uh, this h1 isn't a good example right now because it's a heading but just to me uh, understand that this is a selector the statement between the curly braces is known as declaration and this this uh, color this is a property and the this yellow is the value of this property so font size it's a property and this is the value of the property how we got this each uh, each one let me produce and you can see here this each one I have select this I have um, in my body body section of HTML I have mentioned this each one and this each one I am using here to style it I want to be uh, this each one should be appearing yellow the color should be yellow and the font size of this H1 should be 2 pixel. Uh, it, it doesn't look good because I'm using the heading one. Well, I'm just just for the example. Okay. So the, this this um, declaration block, this block we have started from the from here to here, the curly braces. We we can write more than one statement, okay? Like this is a one statement and this is another statement, or this is one declaration and this is another declaration, and all these declarations can be separated with semicolon, okay? Each declaration is separated with a semicolon. Now let's um, move on to the selectors. That uh, no, first of all, actually, I'm sorry. Let's move on to the comments because. After comments, I'm going to um, um, we will go through the uh, selectors. Right now, I have just used this each one. This is my selector, and I want this declaration should be applied on my each one selector. Okay. Hope you guys understood until now. Now let's move on and let's learn about comments. Okay. So comments. What are the comments? We use comments in almost all programming languages, and in um, this uh, cascading style sheet isn't a programming language, but we use comments in all the programming language languages. Okay, comments are ignored by the browser. We cannot see comments. It is for us or for the developer to keep the things clean. And uh, if someone, if two or three developers are working on a big project, then they use comments. To not to mess up with other things okay so comments are very helpful now there are two types of comments single line comments and 
multiple lines comments. So this is a single line comment. Okay. We start a single line comment with a slash asterisk and whatever we want to write within the, the st uh, these comments we can write and we close them with asterisk and slash. So this is a single line comment. Let's move on and check the multiple line comment. And here we are using multiple line oops, 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 oops. comment. And let me see. Okay. And my spellings. Okay. So let me zoom it. The single line comment, they are in one line, but the multiple line comments can be in different lines. So they are they, that's why they are known as multiple line comments. So the syntax of the multiple line comments is this one slash asterisk the statement whatever we want to write and then again we close it with asterisk and slash so this is the way we use comments in css now let's move on to the selectors basic selectors so let me write it within the comment and this way we are also using the uh, we are learning the use of comments actually so basic comments this is a title okay right now i'm using this title let me remove this okay now base not basic comments i'm sorry basic selectors so what are the basic selectors this is universal selector now what is this universal selector you can see the universal selector is shown with the help of this asterisk sign sometimes not sometimes actually mostly we use mm, same type of margin and padding in our all web page so we use this universal selector and we define the margins and paddings by using this mm, universal selector that the margin should be the same in all the page or in all the padding should be the same in all the page we defined here in the block and uh, the block let me show you here if i just here we can use the universal selector and whatever we want to select universe if we want everything should be in yellow color and every all the font of the page should be in two pixels and you can we can use it we can select it universally Okay, I think this is a good example right now. We will use it in our future projects. Okay, so don't worry. Don't think it is like a monster. It isn't any, it, it's very easy. When we will start using it in our projects, you guys will love it. The other selector is div. And we can say div um, is a tag selector. If you want to select the div, okay, then we can uh, use the div, okay. I'm sorry what I'm saying if you want to. The div tag selector is used to select all div elements, okay. The div, um, this div selector is used to select all the div elements within our page, within our markup, whatever we have used. If you guys are not clear about it, I have a tutorial here in my channel. You can go and find about that and I think it will be helpful to you guys. Then now let's move on and learn about a class selector. This is a class selector. This dot 
before this blue column this blue this is this dot is known as a class selector okay then we have a id selector this hash hash sign or pound sign we use for ids to when we make ids in our markup then we still, uh, use we style those ids by using this hash or pound sign in our css okay now let's move on to another one and this is a sudo sorry sudo sudo class okay these this column uh, when we use this column within our uh, CSS then it's mean that we are selecting all elements with pseudo class okay we are using all elements with pseudo class the next one is double columns and what the columns what are the double columns sorry Here, this is pseudo element, and we use this to match all the pseudo elements. Okay. Right now, I think these things maybe yeah, these things are uh, confusing, but when we are, will use them in our uh, project, or when we will use them by examples with the help of examples, these things are will be very clear to you guys. Okay, so just learn that these are the multi these are the basic selectors okay now there is another selector which is known as lang and it's a language this element that it means that matches the language declaration or language we can select the language or lang it's a lang is a declaration actually so we can select you we can use this also um we can say that it is also our basic selector there is something else which is the greater than sign div greater than sign and p this is known as child selector the div in which we are using this paragraph which is direct child to this div is known as child selector and to show this into our um, or to use it into our um, CSS we use the greater than sign okay so I think that it is quite easy I, I think it isn't difficult you guys got my point that what I'm uh, what I'm trying to explain you here now the last topic of today's video is how to add CSS into our page or into our website okay when the when the browser reads CSS or oh sorry style sheet it will format the HTML document according to the information in the style sheet like if I'm saying that the color of my heading one should be yellow then browser is going to show it in within the yellow by using the yellow color the browser is not going to use a blue color and showing it in a blue color okay whatever we have given here everything is will be followed by the browser there are three ways to add or to insert the css in our html page so the first way is external css right now the style sheet i'm using here this is an external CSS. Let me tell you first thing. I'm using VS Code Editor. You can do this by using Notepad++ also. Uh, but I uh, I love to use VS Code Editor. Whatever code editor you like, you can go with that bracket, atom, sublime. It's up to you guys. But I'm using VS Code Editor. Okay. I have created a folder on my desktop with the name of HTML tutorial. I have done all these process in my previous series. So I'm not going to uh, start it again, again, again and again. 
if you have any sort of problem you can uh, go back to my HTML videos and you can find it from there or you can uh, concern to any other videos which will tell you how to make folder uh, or how to use VS Code Editor okay so in future I will make videos about uh, VS Code Editor complete tutorial but right now I am uh, I'm just uh, concerned about the uh, HTML CSS and some in future JavaScript and bootstrap but right now I think we are just uh, moving out from my pro uh, of our conversation so I have for created a folder on my desktop HTML tutorial.com sorry HTML tutorial tutorial and within that um, I have opened it here by using my file I used the open folder and I opened that folder here in my VS Code editor then I've created the page by using this new file and I named it index.html here I used all this HTML code and within the same folder I have again created another file and I named it as style.css and we are using this style.css right now I want to link this style.css to my HTML so in the head section of my HTML I'm going to use it like I'm going to say link I'm going to link my styles or dot CSS with my HTML and you can name it whatever you want it is not necessary that you can name it only the style dot CSS you can name it home dot CSS main dot CSS or about or whatever okay but I'm just uh, I'm using the style dot CSS then here I'm going to say style sheet the type of this style sheet is text CSS and I'm going to use hyper reference href here here in href I'm going to use this name style dot CSS so style dot CSS and I'm going to close it now I have closed this so this is the way we can use we can link our external this is the external sheet and I have linked my external sheet to my HTML index.html page there is another way this uh, let me tell you one thing the external sheet can be written in any any text editor like uh, I'm using VS code editor you can uh, for a HTML but you can use for example let me be brief here I'm you um, uh, suppose I have used my index.html page in I have written my index.html page in VS code editor and for some reason I don't know what are the reasons what would be the reasons but for some reason I'm not going to use this VS Code editor and I'm going to use uh, suppose brackets okay so I can you I can write my style.css in brackets with the extension of uh, I will save it with this extension style.css the CSS is an extension so I'll save it over there but I'll keep it in the same folder and after that I'm going to link it the same way as I've used here okay so it will work also it, it is not going to crash or not going to behave differently but it will work also so external sheet can be written anywhere it should be in the same folder okay and you can link them the way as I have mentioned to you guys like suppose um, let me remove all this from here and let's say that background background color I want this aqua okay right now and I'm going to as I have linked it here and I want the background of my HTML page should be aqua aqua blue so let's go to my browser and you guys can see that the uh, style or whatever I have given to my in my style um, style.css is applied here 
okay if I say that this title should be in different color the heading then what I can do I'm going to select right now this body is a selector of mine okay now I'm going to select each one each one is my selector and I'm I want to see the color of my each one should be right now it is blue I want it to be gray I, I think it doesn't look good but let's check yeah it is very dull it is in gray or if I say it should be yellow see wait move on to the browser and you can see that the style sheet is working it is linked successfully to my HTML page okay now internal style sheet it can be used for a single HTML page um, mostly we prefer to go with the external sheet because if you want to change something uh, then it can be applied in like if you want to change something in our whole web, pipe, web page in or in our whole website then we uh, prefer to use the style um, uh, external style sheet if you want to change something and it can be applied in all the website but if you use the um, in internal CSS the internal CSS is mostly used for a single pages a uh, single HTML page um, mostly people also use that so we use the internal CSS how we can use this internal CSS let me Rem I don't think that I need to remove this uh, let me remove my link and I'm going to go with the same data but in my e heading section uh, first of all let me say we are practicing CSS not practicing actually we are learning We are learning CSS okay this is the paragraph this is the heading and within our um, heading I'm uh, sorry within our head element or head section we are going to use our style sheet so I'm going to say style it has opening and closing tag okay in here within this I'm going to say body and here I should say background color here I want to change the background color and I want to say blue violet and the heading or I should say the paragraph should be the color of the paragraph this console cookie let's save it move on to the browser and yes you can see that it is also working in the same way as our um, as our external sheet was working so this is the other way to use the style sheet this is the internal style sheet and the one we have learned before that was the external style sheet now there is another the last one actually inline CSS and inline CSS may be used to apply a unique style for a single element let me delete it let me delete this also in here in each one I want it to be the style of this each one I'm using style and color uh, this each one should be crimson okay now let me separate it with the semicolon and and I want to say okay not I just want the color should be this crimson and I want another style with my paragraph and I want to see style and I should say font size, sorry. Font size would be 5 pixels. Okay. So let me save it. 
moving on to my browser. Okay, the five pixel is too small. Let me go with the 50 pixels. And you can see. Okay, so this is what I have used my inline style sheet. I have used the H1 and the paragraph. One thing more, and this is the last thing for today. We separate the declarations. This this is the selector, okay, and this is the property, and this is the value, and we can separate them by using the semicolon. Like here, let me say font. Okay, font size should be ba, 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 80 pixels. Okay. So this is the selector and within this block, within the block of a curly braces and this is the property and this is the value. And we separate this value by using the semicolon. Okay. So I think you guys understand the beginning of the CSS that what is CSS, how we can use CSS, comments in CSS and the basic selectors of CSS. So if you like the videos, do subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and from next videos and from next video, yeah, from next videos, we are going to start new chapters uh, with new information and we'll increase our CSS knowledge. Bye for now. See you next time. Hasta la vista and ciao, ciao.